Green buildings can transform the way how buildings are designed, built and operated to create more comfortable, healthier and more sustainable built environment. Green buildings reduce energy consumption, uh, greenhouse uh, gas emission, water consumption and solid waste uh, generation. Green building uh, strategies that we recommend and categories that we focus on in our architectural practice match uh, with the U.S. Uh, green Building uh, Council's LEED uh, rating system. There are five main uh, categories that we pay attention to. Sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, material and resources, and indoor environmental quality. So let's go one by one. The selection and development of uh, a site uh, has dramatic impact on building performance over the course of its uh, life. So, select and develop site wisely, increase density, choose redevelopment, protect habitat, reduce emission associated with trans transportation by encouraging uh, car and van pools, offering preferred parking for fuel efficient vehicles, planning for bicycle accessibility, providing easy access to uh, public transportation, providing pedestrian access to services and public space, plan sustainable landscapes, protect surrounding habitats and ecosystems, manage stormwater runoff, allowing the stormwater to infiltrate on site with green roofs and uh, pervious pavers, or harvest rainwater. Reduce heat island effect by using green roofs, reflective roof materials, or light color materials. Eliminate light pollution. The current trend in uh, demand for water is completely unsustainable. That's why it's uh, critical to focus on uh, demand reduction and water efficiency. Reduce indoor water use by using uh, flow restrictors and sensors on the lavatory sink and shower fixtures, using metering controls and using low consumption flush fixtures. Reduce process water use by reducing the use of chemicals and potable water in cooling towers, boilers and chillers. Reduce outdoor water by implementing water efficient landscaping materials using native and adaptive plants, minimizing areas uh, with conventional turf grass, using mulching and composting strategies for optimal soil conditions, selecting efficient irrigation technologies, using non-potable water for irrigation by capturing rainwater, installing submeters to identify leaks. Green buildings aim to reduce the amount of energy required for um, building operation and to employ alternative methods to generate electricity. Strategies that reduce the impact of energy use focus on energy demand, energy efficiency, renewable energy and ongoing energy performance. Energy demand strategies Reduce the size of building footprint Reduce energy demand by using natural lighting and shift energy use to off-peak periods. Orient building on the east-west axis. Minimize east-west glazing and shade southern glazing to maximize passive solar heat gain, natural ventilation and daylighting. Use high-performance building envelope to ensure adequate insulation. Energy efficiency strategies would be to identify passive design opportunities. Be energy efficient by using efficient building envelope, comfort systems, lighting and equipment. Install high performance mechanical system. Specify high efficiency appliances. Use high efficiency infrastructure. Use thermal energy storage. Renewable energy strategies. Generate on-site renewable energy by using photovoltaics, solar, thermal, wind, geothermal energy. 
biofuel-based electrical system, etc. Or purchase off-site renewable energy. Buy energy for building use from Green E certified power provider. Ongoing energy performance. Measure and verify systems by monitoring energy system performance to make improvement over time. Verify through commissioning that systems are installed and perform according to design intent. Conduct preventive maintenance. Provide staff training. Create incentives for occupants and tenants. Materials have an extensive impact on building users and the environment, therefore one should pay close attention to selecting the sustainable materials and adopting the waste management uh, strategies. Practice sustainable purchasing. Use materials on their second life by selecting materials with recycled content. Specify regionally harvested materials by choosing materials that have been harvested and manufactured within 500 miles of the site. Use materials with little environmental impact by using materials that are rapidly renewable. Use responsible wood products like FSC certified wood. Specify green electronic equipment. Manage recyclable goods by providing a well-marked accessible area for occupants to recycle paper, cardboard, glass, plastics and metal. Salvage existing uh, materials by using refurbished or reused materials to reduce the demand for virgin materials. Salvage existing building. Manage construction waste and compost. Critical components of indoor environmental uh, quality section are indoor air quality, thermal comfort, lighting and acoustics. Indoor air quality strategies. Promote green building operations by using best management practices to control outdoor air introduction and exhaust systems. Use green construction practices by controlling the spread of construction dust and protect building materials from moisture. Conduct a flush out. Reduce or eliminate contaminants. Protect the indoor environment from VOCs CO2, particles and tobacco smoke. Install high efficiency air filters. Select appropriate materials. Use low emitting materials, furniture and interior finishes to limit off-gassing. Integrate pest control management by creating a plan to prevent pests from entering and damaging the building. Practice green cleaning by using sustainable cleaning products and equipment, thermal comfort strategies. Use lighting controls and control thermal comfort. Always provide users controls and consider user feedback in operation and maintenance. Install operable windows. Lighting. Provide daylight and view.